Let's just talk about hoes. Can we talk about hoes? Hey, Q! Is crazy. Hey, Q! This is what you want to do. You want to do the truth in the hospital. You want to do the truth in the hospital. You want to do the truth in the hospital. Again, focus on yourself. That's what it is. You know, I told you guys yesterday that there is a war going on right now amongst the hoes when it comes to Zion Williams. The one chick he got pregnant, so far she have won the battle, but the war is not over. These hoes is not going to let up. Ever since they give Zion Williamson that bag of $193 million, he became a victim to these hoes. You gotta understand, these not your regular hoes. These are professionals. These six been hoes since they were four years old. They've been training all this time, and all these hoes are in their 30s. So these are veterans, okay? These are not your regular 20 year old uh, thoughts and all that. These women have years of experience. And as you guys know, experience is the greatest teacher. So Zion is really up against a lot right now. You know what I'm saying? But it is what it is. Fellas, this is why as a man, you don't trick and you don't indulge with low-hanging fruits. Because the same way how Zion Williamson work hard and train and bust his ass to make it to the NBA, these thoughts are trained to have a baby by an NBA superstar. That's a victory for them. That's them winning a championship. You all got to understand that. So I'm pretty sure his the, uh, the chick, uh, he got pregnant. She's right now giving out inspirational speeches to the other hoes. She's right now giving them motivation. She's giving them hope. So these hoes will forever keep coming at Zion Williamson until they get all his money. That's just how it works. So a new thought came out the woodworks. Y'all know a bunch of these will be coming out uh, over the next couple of days. So it says, Nasty ass. Yes, attic. Pelican star Zion Williamson called out by third woman Amid Nasty Love Triangle. Wow. So apparently another chick came out the woodworks. The third woman in this nasty love triangle, or has it now become a square, goes by the name Yami Taylor, who according to her Instagram profile is a luxury living consultant. Fellas, AKA I'm a hoe for sale. AKA P2P. Whenever you go to a chick profile and you see some dumb shit like this, I'm a luxury living consultant and I bet you hoe, all right? So keep that in mind. And she really recently went off on Zion Williamson by posting some wild allegations via her IG story. All right, well, let's first, before we go into her IG post, let's check out this chick Instagram. Let's see how this chick look, you know what I'm saying? Let's take a look. Let's see what's going on here. All right, so this is the new chick that just came out, Yanny. All right, you can tell this chick got a BBL. Definitely got the fresh BBL. That's wild, man. This dude smashing these BBL joints. Look at this shit. This shit look crazy right here. Her legs, man, skinny with it. <laughs> Come on, man. You smashing these ant booty chicks, man. That's wild, man. Like, how you get rich just to fuck some BBL thoughts, man? Look at this bird. These dudes be wildin' with the money, man, I swear. They said they never gave you niggas money! You don't know how to appreciate shit! Look at how skinny, like, this shit feed is, man. And then look at this weird ass, yo. And you can tell she probably got kids, too. Come on, man. This shit is wild, bruh. This shit is, come on, man. I don't know, buddy, man. This chick is butchered up. I, hey, you know what? Let me get up out of here, man. So this chick goes, And this ain't nothing to do with clout. I get my own money in real life and never been a prostie or sold my body. You outside buying hoes, cullinans. 
In case you guys don't know, that's a Rolls Royce. Who didn't have 100K to their name when you met them? Why I didn't get my Bentayga or my Richard Millie last summer? Nah, this is crazy. This chick started off by saying, I get my own money in real life, then says, why didn't I get my Bentayga and my Richard Milly last summer? Bitch, use your own money and buy it. But this is crazy. It's the fact that this dude got these hoes feeling disentitled. Like it's almost an obligation. Come on, Zion, man, you gotta stop. But you buying these bitches Rolls Royces and Bentaygas and all, for what? Just to bust a nut? Bro, all you're doing is busting a nut. A nut should not cost you that, a nut, Bro, all you're doing is busting a nut. A nut should not cost you that amount of money. Think about it, fam. You buying a bitch a Rolls Royce just to bust a nut? That's free. Come on, man. She goes, Zion, because I don't let you record me, I never give you a threesome or never had an OnlyFans or was on Pornhub. So I guess I was all play. I probably never had a chance you nasty ass sex addict. <laughs> wow. These hoes is crazy. So she's saying if she was more of a hoe, she would have a better chance with this nigga. Yo, these hoes is, 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 is this shit is wild, man. This shit is different. So she goes. Someone tell my good sis Mariah if he moved to Nola. I'll move with you. I'm just an aspiring micro balding artist. I ain't even want him to touch me. No more. Laughing my fucking ass off. I can't live with the other bum though. Baby girl is beneath me. Beneath me. Yo, nah, this is this is crazy right here, man. And then the chick posts this nigga. And be laying around sleeping comfortably, knowing you have bitches pregnant. Eh, disgusting. Nah, bro. That's what I'm saying. This man is too comfortable, fam. Like, damn, bro. A man should never get this comfortable around hoes, man. Never. And I'm talking about these are P2P bitches. That's why this is sad. This man is finding love in hoes. Like this dude need help. Like he might need counseling for real. Because like when a man is paying women for love or for whatever reason, but when he's rocking with them, he's he's making them feel special. Something is wrong with that. Cause this dude is laying up so he. He is kissing these nasty ass bitches on their lips and all that. It's like, nah, this dude really needs some help, man. This shit is real. This is like, I believe based on the fact that he probably got hurt so off because he's, he's young, he's 22. So if you're 22 and you have to be on a strict diet just to play the sport that you love, it can fuck with your mental. And then make it even worse, your contract have a clause in there where you can't get over 295 pounds and if you do you're gonna be fine it's gonna be a penalty so it's like you like a lab rat you see what i'm saying so this dude obviously got some type of mental issues because i get it you're 22 you probably want to fuck a lot of bitches i mean like when i was 22 like i was trying to fuck everything moving i was right but i knew better not to pay for pussy you see what i'm saying i was always like a slayer like i i went out i bagged a bitch off my gift of gab off my charisma things like that but it's never been a situation where i'm tricking so something is off psychologically here something is off that's all i'm saying but please leave your thoughts about this in, in the comments <sighs> man this is sad so this is a, just another day of these hoes at war for zion williamson money ever since y'all give that dude that bag man y'all knew these hoes was coming and when these hoes come in they come in to destroy your life they come in and take all that money sad situation man please leave your thoughts in the comments i'm out peace